this is Mario with me and Michael Flight. And this is another video of the uh, MIA Easy Gyro 1.0. This is a model I designed as a series of gyros beginning with a small size and up to a, what I call 2.0 size and there are three sizes in between making up a total of five different sizes under the Mia Easy line of products. we can appreciate it in this video and also all the previous videos that I've been doing with the uh, easy line of uh, products this particular autogyro does extremely, extremely well it is quite fast The model comes in kit form and assembles in about a half hour. Most of the work is uh, in the setup. As with any RC or radio control model, you need to set it up correctly, trim it, so that the model performs uh, well. Many of the parts are custom parts designed to ease the assembly and also the uh, control of the model. Some very unique parts as, such as the rotor head which has been designed with a lot of thought in mind and you will not find a similar type of rotor head on any similar RC auto gyro. Mia Microflight has done extensive work on the design of this particular model in order to provide a model that simply rocks. Once again, on takeoff, there's no pre rotators involved. The rotors are simply spun up by hand. Models pointed straight into the runway, preferably uh, against the uh, wind or mild breeze. If there's no breeze, the model will still pick up speed. Get the rotors nice and uh, fully rotational, and then slightly uh, pull up on the elevator. You don't really need to pull up on the elevator if you gain enough speed and just use throttle. The model should take off nice and smooth.
the control on this model will uh, do exactly as you tell the model to do it. If you want to fly slow, it'll fly slow. If you want to hold maneuvers uh, uh, steady and, and quick, it'll, it'll do that. So we can see it in this video, I'm flying uh, slow, I'm flying fast, I'm doing straight uh, circuits. some uh, knife edge uh, approximations uh, so that we can see the uh, capability of this particular micro IC autogyro. One of the features that I embedded in the design of this uh, particular RC autogyro is uh, its uh, self-stabilization capability. I don't believe in using electronic stabilizers when you can do it mechanically if the model is well designed. And so this model has been designed to self-stabilize itself once you let go of the control. You can see in these uh, videos, so I'm flying fast and I'm coming for a flyby. You can see how steady the model is, it just writes itself up and just flies straight out as I'm coming up out of a turn or a maneuver. Okay, here we're doing some uh, knife edge uh, approximations. And they're approximations because it's not really at 90 degrees uh, with the uh, rotor that is uh, in, in the horizon but you can see how the model performs uh, these uh, maneuvers and it's all because of the particular uh, design and in particular the rotor head. This is one rotor head that I spend quite a bit of time uh, coming up with. It's uh, a unique uh, rotor head. There are many types of rotor heads out there and you can do them in many many ways and most people follow the same cookie cutter pattern of doing the rotor head. I wanted to come up with something a little bit different and something that it's, it had the right angles and the right uh, geometry mainly. You gotta have some offsets in the rotor head. And I talked about these things till I've like, been blue in the, in the face when I used to participate in RC groups. And at that time when I was doing these uh, offset rotor heads, uh, nobody was doing the offset heads. They were simply uh, attaching a piece of uh, uh, hose on top of the mast and uh, using that as a universal joint with no offset whatsoever. Later on, RC Autogyro enthusiasts uh, started to implement the offset uh, head. Now, now, the offset head design is not my own. This is based on the real Autogyro geometry and, and theory but I've gone uh, a little bit further and uh, added my my own uh, recipe for the particular rotor head and uh, when you purchase one of these kits you will see the, the most obvious thing you will see is the, the rotor head This is the reason why, as you are appreciating it in this video, the performance of this model is due mainly to the, to the rotor head control and also the main blades. The main blades are not your standard blades. Now another thing that I also uh, invested uh, a, a lot of time, making sure that the blades were uh, uh, to the performance that I was looking for. It is very easy to do a Clark wire, wire foil and many do-it-yourselfers do it that way and also many guys that sell plans and, and kits uh, on eBay do it that way I, I don't want to fall into that category of 
products. And that's another reason why uh, Mia Microflight uh, Easy Line of Auto Gyros fly extremely well. video is a bit long but there is just no way to illustrate all this uh, power and uh, efficiency on this uh, particular auto gyro without uh, investing the time to point out all these uh, features. The Mia Easy Gyro 1.0 will be available at Mia Microflight. Also www.micro-flight.com at the end of this month. Thank you for watching.